hello and welcome to another video uh today we'll be looking at how to trade volatility 75 index on the five minutes time frame on the screen i have v75 uh five minutes time frame um and i have two windows i have the main window this is my main window and I have indicator window one. This is indicator window one. Now the way this strategy works is on the main window, when the red line cross above the green line, all right? That's my buy signal, okay? And when the red line cross down on the green line, that's my sell signal. Okay. And this must happen when uh, they both they are both above the uh, black line. When they are abo above the black line, I'll look for buy entries. When they are both above the buy, uh, black line, I'll only look to buy. Like you can see what happened. We have a crossing here. All right. For buy. While price while the price is above the black line and the moving averages are above the black moving average. Okay. Now this is supposed to be a sell, but we are above the black line, so I wouldn't want to take anything like sell. But as soon as I have the red line going up again, I will buy. Now, if I buy at this point, here will be my stop loss. Around here, my stop loss will be around here. Okay, I can see what happened. Price continued up, 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 up. Okay, until we have a sell around here. All right. So, but when we have the lines below the black line, let's look at scenario where we have the lines below the black line. Okay, now we are below the black line here. All right. And we have the red line going down below. We enter our sell trade around here. And then, of course, if we enter our sell trade around here, when the where the green the red line touches the green line and cross downward we can sell around here preferably we may sell below the low this is a low we may sell below this low okay then our, our stop loss will be somewhere above here okay and then we'll just ride along with the trend okay this is also another point to enter all right stop loss will be above the eye okay now don't forget this sell very scenario or point at which you can sell will happen only if the moving averages are below the black moving average don't forget that and buy scenario will happen when they are above okay like they are all above the uh the black moving average around here so you can always look for buy you can always look for buy you can always look for buy so that's it it's a good strategy you will like it it's a very good one you will like it okay now for indicator window one if we are going to sell around here so the selling the selling points for indicator with one will be when the red lines cross the bollinger bands downwards you can sell at that point at the point of the line red lines crossing down on the uh, on the so not bollinger band, parabolic ser not bollinger bands beg your pardon when the red line cross down on the parabolic SAR, you sell. 
okay and when it crosses up parabolic SAR like you have let's look at let's look at it still okay we have a cross up around here okay we have it crossing up around here for a buy all right okay so that's how to use indicator uh window one okay let's look at another scenario okay we have it crossing up here for a buy okay let's look at moment of sell point at which you can sell crossing down for a sell crossing up for a buy so more like the red lines pierces the parabolic SAR and goes up and you can see you can see what happened you can see what happened here price also went up all right because we have like a crossover over the parabolic SAR around here so one particular feature is that the red line will always touch the red line will always touch the uh, 25 2018 level okay by the time it touches that level and goes up to cross the parabolic SR, you can always buy and also for selling situation that it touch the 75 80 level and then cross down on the parabolic SR for you to sell okay so it's as simple as that uh, it's a very good strategy you like it like you can see a sell situation here a bearish situation a bearish signal around here touches the 7580 level for crossing down on a parabolic SCR. okay and then we started to have a bearish trend so that's that don't forget uh, for you to sell or place your sell trades you allow the two uh, moving averages the green and the red to cross down the black moving average then you start to look for selling points okay okay selling points where the red line cross down on the green line like we have around there the red line tested the green line around there and then crossed down you can at the crossing at when price you no know, um drops below the two lines you can look out look for the low the low price point this is the low price point, and then place your trade somewhere around here now this of course this breakout to take it pick the trade and then you can see what happened price starts to go down because we are already in a bearish trend as um, indicated by this black moving average staying above all other uh, moving averages okay now when you place your sell trade somewhere around here if price now goes up and trips your stop loss then you can um, stay out of trade for for some time and then begin to monitor but most of the time price start to go down because uh, this symbolizes your trend change okay of course in a downtrend you only look out for selling opportunities in an uptrend you look out for buying opportunities okay like this is an uptrend this is the start of an uptrend where the red and the green line crosses above the black line so buying opportunity an opportunity is around here for you to buy okay this is a fake out of a sell okay but there's an opportunity to buy okay now this is another fake out of a sell because we are still in a bullish trend but you are seeing sell uh, uh sell signals this is a buy opportunity okay okay i can see what happened here both sell opportunity buy opportunity but we are in an uptrend so we'll look out for this buy opportunity where the red line crosses above the green line 
for us to buy so that's that let's look at the parameters the settings let's look at the settings now to look at the settings we'll uh, uh, look at the first on the main chart is our moving average to 40 uh, period shift is zero method is linear weight applied to close color is black that's for the black trend uh that's for the black trend uh trend change line which is this black line right now every other moving average every other moving average is above the black line so we are in a bullish trend so i will always look out for buying opportunity like there's a buying a buy signal around here and of course i placed the buy trade around there and you can see what price the price went up i expect price to continue to go up but i've already placed a stop loss here to protect my trade in expectation that price will continue up all right let's continue with the parameters now the first one is 240 the second one is five period which is the red colored moving average five period shift is zero method is simple applied to close color is red and the third one is 28 period shift is zero method is simple applied to close color is green all right on indicator window one we have oscillator stochastic oscillator the parameters we have percentage k period is one percentage d period is one slow in is one price field is low over i method is linear weight now the color of the main and the signal stars will match the background color of your chart okay and then the levels for the stochastic oscillator we have 20 and 80 the color is black now next is the relative strength index period is 10 applied to close color is red and let's look at the levels we have 20 25 75 80 and the color is black as for the rsi then the parabolic ser we have step is 0.03 maximum is 0.09 and the color is red okay that's for the first parabolic SAR now the second relative strength index we have period is 8 uh, applied to close color is red now let's look at the levels we have 19 18 82 81 okay then the last indicator there is parabolic SAR step is 0.02 maximum is 0.09 color is purple all right so that's the parameters and that's the way you use this strategy as a very simple strategy when you have the red line crossing above the green line when they are both above the black line that's the time to buy okay and when you buy and you are in profit just like i'm in profit you can always uh place your you can always place your stop loss to protect your profit so that when price comes down to your stop loss trips your stop loss and you still um go on with something okay but if you are going to buy when you have a crossover here and you're going to buy around there just like i did your stop loss initially will be at the low your low is around here so you're placing stop loss here okay so that's that but for you to sell of course you you may sell uh around here but you are you are in a bullish trend so you may be having some scalp trade scalp sell okay you may not stay long for long in such uh selling situation because the trend is still bullish in as much as the black line these are black line they're still below all the moving averages you may only look out for buy trade so when price is going down like you just, you just when price is going down just like in this area you just have to wait 
you have to be patient like a sniper and wait for when price starts to go up and then you have a crossover just like you you have here before you place your buy trade okay now that's for buy signal for sell signal let's look at where we have sell signal like i explained earlier earlier on okay like we have sell signal somewhere around here so all you need to do is wait patiently for the red line to stay below the green line just like around here you place your trade and then you go home with some profits like now right right at this particular point a black line is below all the lines okay so we only look out for buying opportunities so if we want to look at let's look out for where it's all started okay this is where the bullish trend started okay the bullish trend started around here so we'll be looking out for buying opportunities okay like this is a buying opportunity it's an opportunity for you to buy okay this is another opportunity for you to buy now for each uh, buy opportunity your stop loss should be somewhere below here okay for this particular crossover then your stop loss for this particular crossover should be somewhere around here. Take profit. You can always place stop loss in profit for as against take profit. Okay. Is that a price goes down and trips your stop loss, or price goes up and then you start to move your stop loss to follow price, just like what I did uh, around here, moving my stop loss to follow price. So it's an easy strategy okay so an easy strategy it helps you to follow the trend you can use it use this strategy on any time frame you can use it for other volatility index assets you can use it for boom and crash you can use it for forex you can use it to trade gold is a simple strategy very easy to use can apply to all time frames okay like I'm using it on five minutes time frame. I can use it on one minute time frame. I can use it on one hour time frame. So that's that for the strategy. Please don't forget to click the subscription button. Click the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel so that you get to see our videos. Click the like button. Like our videos. Okay, click the bell button below the video for notification. Also, stay tuned. Uh, your comments may ask a question below the video state it below the video we'll try as much as possible to respond to your questions okay you can go to our website to learn more about how to trade forex and volatility index the website is www.benefxtrader.com we also have fxfables.com all right, that's that for today's strategy. Till I come your way next time, is bye.